Holy crap, we just came so close to another balloon. <laughs> the guy got on the handle and just cranked it. What's up you guys? We're in the air here in Egypt <laughs> on a hot air balloon. I cannot believe this. This is so incredibly cool and smooth. We woke up so early this morning, 3.30 to be exact, to get out here for sunrise. The sun is just starting to light the sky up out there. And we're gonna have about 70, 80 balloons in the sky right now above the Valley of the Kings. This is unbelievable. This is so cool. We're on the balloon with 27 of our closest friends here, but we managed to get a nice corner edge. This is so cool. Anyways, we got up at 3.30, we left our cruise boat, and we caught a little boat that took us across to the west side of the Nile where we jumped on a van and cruised up here to the Valley of the Kings. We're gonna be exploring this later on the ground, but for now, we're floating over it with 70 other balloons, and it is <laughs> beautiful. This is unlike anything we have ever, ever done. Holy crap, we just came so close to another balloon. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I got on the handle and just cranked it with heat. Now I think we're the highest balloon out here. Yeah, we really are. Oh, look at the sun's peeking out. Oh, there it is. It's just starting to come up. It's so smoggy. You can see the Nile out there kind of twisting and turning. All right, this has been beautiful, but I think it's time for the landing. The most exciting part of the whole thing, I'm very excited about it. We're over some like sugar cane fields right now and we're coming down. I don't know how much control they have. Oh, so they grabbed, they grabbed a rope. Yeah. Oh, they got a team down there. They grabbed a little rope that was underneath us. They're gonna pull us down. Like grazing the top of these right now. I think the team out here holding onto our little rope. cable, our rope, is pulling us Indeed. back to where we took off, back there. And we're just kind of flying right above all the crops as we go. About to touch down. We're up in the air probably 30, 40 minutes. Really don't want that was so cool. We don't want it to end. Our guys are helping us get back to where we took off. That's oh, touchdown! Yeah. That was mellow. That was so mellow. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're staying here. That was unbelievable. That was worth the 3 a.m. wake up call. That was <laughs> so cool. You guys, I've never been on a hot air balloon Neither ride. Neither of us have. It was worth it. It was absolutely breathtaking and way more mellow than I was expecting. Like, way more mellow. Yeah, and once we landed, they actually took one person out at a time and replaced them with another person. And you can see they're back up there going for another ride right now. But I'm really glad we did the sunrise. Me too. I didn't know we had an option. I didn't know they did a second ride, but I'm very glad that our guide booked us on the sunrise because that that was so cool. Watching the sun come up was so beautiful and 
when they would like blast the fire or whatever, <laughs> it was so hot in our basket. Some girl's hair caught on fire. Oh my gosh, kind of crazy, but it was so hot. that I feel like it like burned my skin. It was so hot. So I can't imagine how warm it is for those up there right now because the sun's already out and it's warm. With the sun and the fire, that's a hot one. When we were up there, we flew over the Valley of the Kings where all of the ancient pharaohs have been buried. Their tombs are there. And you can kind of see them riddled in the mountainside. We're gonna be visiting there today on foot. We're gonna go inside some of those tombs, see what's still in there. Ready, babe? Yeah, let's do this. We have just checked into our apartment, but we saw a ton of temples today and we're gonna share all of that with you. We did not take the microphone into a lot of the temples. We were kind of tired of worrying about it. We just got stopped everywhere we took the microphone and lots of times I told you this, that you can't take the microphone or they wanted money for the microphone. The microphone was just a hassle. So we just said, forget it, we'll get cool shots and then we'll recap later. So that's what we did. Our next stop was the temple of Hachetsu. We had flown over it just before in the hot air balloon and I remember thinking, what the heck is that? It looks awesome. So I was glad when we went and stopped over there next. First stop of the day, Hachetsu's temple. Hachetsu, hot chicken soup. I know, if you forget it, they're like, just think hot chicken soup. Hot chicken soup, hot chicken soup. <laughs> Guys, this is kind of crazy. This is her temple and her burial site and she was one of the only rulers of ancient Egypt that was a woman. And she kind of told the people that the god Amun-Ra said she should rule. She was the only daughter, so there wasn't a son to naturally take that position, but she convinced everyone that she should rule. And she wore all the kingly apparel, the false beard, everything, and she ruled Egypt. And we're gonna go check out her temple. This temple had something that we have not seen much of yet here in all these ancient Egyptian temples, and that was tons of color. Yeah. Like blues and reds, tons of color all over the place. It was really, really pretty. And that's all original. That's all original paint from thousands of years ago. It's very impressive. Everything here is very, I would say, impressive. Absolutely, no question. And it's really cool because when we were in the balloon, we actually saw a lot of different groups of like archeologists who are still excavating and like discovering things to this day. And I mean, this whole mountainside, like I can't even imagine. I feel like there's probably like these little caves and stuff over here. I there's know. probably a ton of those all it's throughout crazy. this. There's a group actually just right over here. They're digging into the side of the mountain. It's just like you see it in the movies, you know? It's just like the movies, Just guys. like the movies. <laughs> movies is real life. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> they do a good job. <laughs> Afterwards, we went over to the infamous Valley of the Kings. This is where many of the ancient pharaohs were buried. Tombs are everywhere in the mountainside. One of the coolest things was in the main lobby. They have this really cool display of what the valley looks like from above and what all the burial chambers look like from below. It was really amazing to see a visual of how extensive the tunnel system is for all of these tombs. We went down inside three of the 63 tombs and each one was pretty different than the last. The burial chambers were different sizes. Some had more treasure rooms than others. Some had painted hieroglyphs and the sarcophagus still inside. What was really cool about going in the tombs was how preserved everything inside was since most of them had been sealed for thousands of years. There was no weather, nothing disturbing them, and they were immaculate. Afterwards, we went to Dendra Temple. This is a little off the beaten path. We drove about an hour and a half north of Luxor to get there, but we were really glad that we did it. This temple was completed by Cleopatra around 50 BC, so not quite as old as a lot of the temples in Egypt. But when we got there, we realized it was one of the most intact temples that we had seen during our trip and there was almost nobody there which is always awesome the entire roof was intact with the most amazing colored hieroglyphs the zodiac symbols were up on the ceiling and statues of the goddess Hathor it even had a spiral staircase to access the roof a lot of these ancient temples don't have their roofs anymore so it was really cool to see one that had a fully intact roof that you could even go up on top of and then it had a nice long straight staircase back down we noticed a lot of the carvings actually like all of the carvings of the goddess Hathor above the columns as well as the other gods across every wall in the temple are riddled with chips and chisel marks so we asked our guide about it and sadly he said when the Romans converted to Christianity they ordered that the images of the pagan gods be erased from certain temples and unfortunately Dendro was one of these. The last temple we visited in Luxor was Karnak. This thing is massive. It sits at the other end of the Sphinx Avenue opposite the Luxor temple that 
that we saw the other night. It dates back nearly 4,000 years, but many pharaohs added to the complex while they ruled over the years. And I think our favorite part was just all the massive columns everywhere. There's about 134 in total, 12 extremely big ones in the center, and then 122 slightly shorter ones. We hope you guys have enjoyed that. Egypt obviously has been incredible. The history, everything about it has been really, really interesting. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not yet already. We're not quite done with Egypt yet, and we're gonna give you guys the behind the scenes of Egypt. We are going to tell you our true, honest feelings, so stick around for the next video because it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.